my loves welcome back to another video it's your girl carmen estella and today we've got another mukbang <laughs> all right i am here i'm going to open what we've got going on today okay so this is a vegetable fried rice that was I believe that oh no california roll just basic california roll sushi and a story time I missed you guys all we have just been chilling in the house y'all just being super super lazy I've got some eel sauce I've got some spicy mayo we got some soy sauce y'all I am a happy happy girl um, I showed you guys I opened it already and what we are drinking today Getting our antioxidants in. This one. Let me show y'all how it looks inside. Let's just try it by itself. Yep. You can never go wrong with the California roll. Mm. I'm sure you guys are dying to know what my um, title is about. <clears throat> This is an eel roll, so let's try it with some spicy mayo. Mmm. That's really good. What is this one called again? Shoot, I forgot. I think the dragon roll. <clears throat> I've got a story time for y'all today. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna be up okay. Mmm. Mm mm mm. I know y'all are like, Carmen, get to it. All right, guys. So, I got some sriracha. I'll leave that right there. Um, this story time is not about Tommy. Um, he has never cheated on me, thank God. Um, but I have been. I have been cheated on, guys. Um, 
You know, like probably like Carmen, everyone has. This one's really good, y'all. Um, so let's get into it. I'm bringing this up because I had someone um, write me a DM and asking me um, if I have ever been cheated on and what should she do. Because now she has been staying in the house with um, her boyfriend. I'm and she thinks he's talking to a girl. Um, anyways, let's get into um, what I did and what happened to me. And then um, let, let her know in the comments what she should do. And I'll, I'll, ha I'll have some things to say. So, um, when I was, this was in my, um, like 21, 22, um, I was seeing someone, obviously, um, we haven't been going like two years already, so this is like the two year mark and I had just got a new job, so here in Vegas, it's all really like about seniority and stuff, so I was working graveyard at night, and he was working um, like early morning, like 7 to like 3 or 4 o'clock, right? And I'm so excited to get this job because I was ready to move on from like my, I was a lifeguard, so you know, you get to that age, you're 21 or 22 and you want a better like career. Obviously, you can't really be a lifeguard for it, forever, so. So I got this job and we were so happy. Um, he had moved into his mom's house because he was going to buy a house and his lease was up and it just didn't make sense to, um, it didn't make sense to obviously resign a lease and then you're in the middle of buying a home. So, he lived with his mom for a bit. I had my own place, but I mostly like was there all the time. So, um, I started, you know, the first two weeks was like, training so I was like working day shift so like I don't know if he didn't if he knew like I don't know if he knew like it wasn't gonna be day shift all the time The first two weeks were <clears throat> pretty good, like, or even three weeks, because I think I was getting lucky and working um, day shift. Um, a shift ended up coming up. I picked, I took the shift, and it was night, like, 11 a.m. to 7 a.m., and, y'all, it was rough. It was my first time ever working late like that. And it was rough, so. Imagine, like, you're young. Everyone's still partying. You live in Vegas. You gotta work. Mind you, you're not, like, when you're working this shift, 
when you're first starting off. Um, you're tired. You don't have like energy. Like you're up all night. There's sleep during the day. Um, and you're um, like obviously you don't want to like do anything as far as pleasing your partner. Um, so it sucked. It was a rough rough path <clears throat> for our relationship. Um. So, you know, um, So I then, um, <clears throat> I remember, I remember this night really, y'all, that woman, um, intuition, like feeling that is so real y'all. Um, I remember just having a feeling because first off you're already, you're like, you're arguing, you're, you're not getting along, you're tired. He doesn't know how to deal with you. Like. You know, he's probably sex was sexually frustrated. And we're young, you know, in our 20s. So. I was calling and calling and calling y'all. And mind you, his mom is the sweetest lady. Um, I was calling and calling and calling him. No answer. Um, I ended up like, I was already, we're already like two or three. I was already two or three months in on my shift, so. Um, I was like able to leave y'all I got crazy and I left I was like you know what um I know something's up I'm leaving so I freaking left y'all I left and um I rem I'll never forget there was like a yellow Mustang out, out, um, it was in front of their house, but across the street. And I was like, I've never seen this Mustang before. And like, I was just like, I was right. I was right. I was right. And I kept calling, kept calling. I even think the light was on, you know, I know. So messed up. The light was on and, um, I was just like, what the hell? Like, I know he sees me calling then. I got to the point where the phone was off, turned off. And, um, like, I was just, I was in the car crying. I was in the car for a minute. I was just like, I know something's going on. And, um, I felt so bad and so terrible. I was, you know, and I couldn't get myself to go knocking on the door. Like, I walked up to the door, but I couldn't because... He lived with his mom and, and his stepdad and at the time and I couldn't like I didn't want to res disrespect them because mind you it was probably like a good like 3 4 a.m. so I just didn't want to I didn't want to disrespect his mom, so. He swore to me the next day. Okay, so anyway, I leave and I'm like crying on my way home. Like, Y'all, I was so sad. Um, I have been cheated on before, but this, this was like really bad because here we were gonna like, I was helping him you know, um, buy his house, not as far as giving him money, but you know, like, you know, we were gonna both move into it and we we're just like, you know, gonna start a new step. And that's definitely a step back, so. I remember it was around Halloween time too. So, um, he called me the next day, he's like, I swear I wasn't up, I wasn't this, I wasn't that. 
I don't know if it was my brother that had the light on, but it wasn't me and mm. and me, I never, I never knew, like I would feel stupid if I would've just dropped him and like you, ne I never really knew, you know what I mean? Like you never, I never knew the truth because that could have really been someone else's car and it could have really been his brother that was, you know what I mean? Like, I just didn't want to assume. So I stayed home for a little bit. I was like, I'm not dealing with you. Um. I was like, I have a feeling. I know what I know. I have a feeling, and he was just like, "No, you're tripping. You're tripping." And um, it was Halloween. I remember we dressed up, matching, and we were about to go walking in my area because we were gonna go to a party or something. And we, I forgot who we were with, but we were all going to go walking and then go party. Or we were probably going to someone's house to go party. He goes to the bathroom at my mom's house. And I go to his phone. He left his phone there. And I don't know if he knew or if she did it, but the girl had taken a picture on his bed in his phone. I don't think he knew. Um, he came out of the bathroom and I didn't want to be too hysterical because I was at my mom's house and I didn't know what I wanted to do yet. Like I wasn't going to sit there and bash him. Uh, but I remember, I think I drove or something. I just know, um. He walked home that day and that was a nice walk. It was not close. And I think he made it all the way home. Hell, he could be lying to me. He could be lying to me. He's not gonna tell me if the girl wanted to go pick him up. The girl knew who we were. She was my friend, but Everyone knew we were together. And um, I had known her from, I think, high school. Yeah, y'all. I was hurt. Um, and then seeing that picture just totally just broke my heart. It was like right in front of you, you know? And you might as well just have, I might as well have just watched and had sex. So, um,. I hit her up and she was like, he told me he wasn't with you anymore. He's not. He told me he wasn't with you anymore. He told me that he wasn't happy, that he wasn't happy. And that, um, like everything that you're telling me is not what he was telling me. So I was like really hurt by that. It took a, like a few, actually, you know what? I don't even think I ever healed from it, to be honest. Um, that's just how I am. It's very unfortunate, <clears throat> but that's just how I am. Um, I never fully healed from it. I was very, very hurt. Um, and it's like really a crappy feeling, y'all. Really crappy feeling. So um, we ended up still being together. Not good. It ended up really bad. The relationship. <clears throat> um... I was always thinking about them being together. I really tried to not think about it, but it was just too too close to home. Like, and then I even think I got mad at the mom a little bit because she the girl had told me that she had been coming over. That she, you know, she like that she had been coming over, so um, she knew his mom and everything. 
I think she told me that like in a in a, in a message on um, Facebook Facebook Messenger. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Maybe the mom liked um her better because we were really going through it. <clears throat> um, that was like a rough um start for me at that job. So yeah. So anyways. I'm gonna keep the girl's um, name <clears throat> um, off my page. I'm just gonna call her Cheryl. I would tell Cheryl, um, first off, if you believe that he's cheating, then I would try to find out um, first before assuming. <clears throat> um, but don't make it too like noticeable. I mean, sometimes you do have to go through phones. like. Especially if you first started dating, when you first started dating. Me, I did it because um, I had already knew, I, I, that I, had, I had been thinking about that day for, that night for days. So it was just like, okay, Carmen, like right now is your time to, you know, see what's up. Um, <clears throat> so find out um, if he's really sneaky and he, you don't find it through the phone. Just give it time. Like, I promise it's going to come out. Um, it always comes out. Um, <clears throat> it'll just give it time. Um, if he's on his phone a lot, just ask him, like, can you put your phone down? Can we spend time together? Like, but then again, I know right now nobody really wants to be spending time together like that. Like, that. I mean, we're already spending time, enough time together. So I get it. You want your space. Or maybe he's really just like on the internet. Like right now, everyone's like on YouTube. Everyone's on um, Instagram, um, I'm loving that Tory Lanez twerk -a fest Maybe he's watching that and he don't want you to know. Me, I'm totally okay with, like, my man watching, like, porn and, like, like that, like, a twerk -a thon or whatever. Like, whatever gets your little rocks off. Just don't cheat on me and don't sit there and entertain anyone else. So, that's my thing. But, Cheryl, um, try those two things. Um, I hope it's not cheating. I hope it's just him just being on excessively on his phone. Um, but that was, that's my, um, story. Um, and it hurts y'all. Like, so if you, you know, and I did stuff back to him. Like I was petty LaBelle. So, um, it wasn't right what I did and it wasn't right what he did. If you don't want to be with someone, um, then you definitely just have to move on. But I get it. People, they don't want to be alone or they are afraid to, to move on from certain people. So, um, I'm going to leave it at that y'all. Um, I'm sorry. It took me a minute to get this video out. Um, Easter weekend, fun, busy weekend. Um, and just so blessed, so blessed to have my family. Um, we are all healthy. We are all good. Um, so I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are are um, healthy. Um, I mean, take your probiotics, drink your antioxidants, um, <clears throat> drink your green uh, your green tea or lemon tea in the morning. Like, keep that immune system strong, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Please share with your friends, family. Let them know what I'm doing over here. Please text me, email me. Um, I got everything down in the description box of what you want me to eat next. And if you even have like anything you want me to talk about, I will not put your name out or your business out. Um, we can always talk about it and uh, you can always get my opinion. So Cheryl, I hope I helped you. And um, please hit that subscribe button, the like button if you like this. And I love you guys so much. I really um, appreciate you guys. All my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.